It's the Buffalo's bye week, but they still found a way to get a big win. Colorado landed a commitment from 2025 blue chip quarterback recruit Antoine Hill Jr. William, this is a big get for the Buffaloes on a number of different levels. Let's start out with your reaction on his decision to join the herd. Well, it's pretty exciting. I think it's uh, uh, as big an addition to this team. Well, aside from Coach Prime himself and some of those guys, but as far as just like a high school commitment, this is as big an addition, dare I say, all the way back to Daryl Scott, maybe. If, just, if, if nothing else, because of the, the position he plays, a quarterback, and also as, as highly rated as he had, is, and the teams that were, were legitimately in that we beat out, I mean, this is really beating out the big boys uh, for, for, for the key um, – player in any class really I think is the quarterback and and you know you add him to Winston Watkins in that class and you got a quarterback to receiver hook up and I think we got a center coming in this year and Taylor Chandler so uh it, it, it's pretty exciting really. AJ Hills from about an hour and a half south of Atlanta about two and a half hours south west of Athens you mentioned it I mean this was a 25 recruit that had some of the top programs in the country coming after him, Alabama, Georgia, Notre Dame, Texas A&M, among them. His current rating, if it holds up, will make him the highest ranked Colorado quarterback commit since 2000. William, the, the first thing that stands out to me about A.J. is his size. He's about 6'5", 215 as a junior in high school. Having had a chance to see him in person on his unofficial visit to Boulder, you know, he passes the eyeball test. He looks like he could put on pads, look like a well-put-together college football player right now. And you also factor in the fact that he's young for his grade. If he enrolls early at CU in January of 2025, he's still going to be 17 years old when that happens. So uh, the other thing that really stood out to me was his efficiency. You certainly have to take high school stats with a grain of salt, but He's had 65 touchdowns and just five interceptions playing at the 6A level in Georgia in his last 20 varsity games. Anything stand out when you look at his film? Well, that's big time football down there too. You know, that like that, that's, that's far better than anything in Colorado, but uh, you know, Texas, that's Texas level sort of stuff. But um, you know, at, at his size, I mean, the immediate people I think about it are actually not quarterbacks, but guys who were recruited as quarterbacks, uh, Ron Wolfork and, and, and Michael Westbrook. And this, this kid by no means is a guy that's going to be moved to another position. He's absolutely a quarterback, but uh, uh, he's got real zip on his ball. I think, you know, he, he's, I, I don't know if that's a factor of size or, or, you know, mobility through his shoulders or whatever, but he can really throw the ball. I think he had to work a little bit on his touch on the downfield stuff a little bit, but uh uh, and, you know, as young as he is, he, he will have played a lot in high school, but he'll have to learn how to address, how to deal with uh, college defenses and things like that. But just really super exciting all the way around. I, w- I wouldn't say, you know, he moves well. He, he was not what I would call a dual threat sort of a quarterback. But, he, he, he you know, he's kind of like Shador in, in that sense, yeah. really. I think he's very much in that sort of same mode of, of mobility. That he, can, he can go 30 yards if he needs to, but it's not what you're going to hang, you know, hang your hat on. That's exactly what I thought of when I saw him run at times in that offense. And you also see another similarity in his film, and it's just the calmness in his game. It's a confidence, which I think is sometimes an underrated quality when you're evaluating high school quarterbacks. And it's always a crapshoot. You you got to wait till you get them on campus and they you know have live bolts flying at them. But just to see that confidence in the way he maneuvers and his just – his mannerisms as a quarterback, I think, gives you confidence if you're around him as an offensive playmaker that he's always within himself. And, and maybe that's something we don't look at enough with these these guys as we evaluate high school quarterbacks. Well, I don't think we have any way to really evaluate that. You know, the, the, hopefully the coaches do because they get down there and they meet the kid and they talk to his coaches and whatever. But uh, the nice thing coming from where he comes from in Georgia, you know, you know, 250 pound outside linebackers that can run are not going to be strange to him. He will have seen that. He will have seen 300 pound defensive linemen and uh, people in his face of that nature. So it won't be a to- totally foreign thing to him to see the size and speed of guys at this level. Um, I-, I think the other thing that kind of stood out to me uh, was not not film related, but quite frankly, his comments about why he committed and what he said about being in Boulder and it- that it was a family thing and he really appreciated the coaches and how 
what I took from it is like that he really appreciated that they looked out for the for the, the players and they were interested more. Well, maybe not more, but just as much in your life after football um, that as in we can do playing playing the game. So I think that speaks a lot to who Coach Prime is. And um, quite frankly, I think this this recruiting win is as big as any win on the field this year because it shows that he's for real uh, going against the big guys. Uh, and you know, everybody on the board always says, "Oh, you got to have a big bag." Not necessarily. You know, it depends on the kid and. Sometimes you got to have what the kid wants, and it's not money. So I think it—it it, it just, I don't know, kind of adds to the legend of Prime at Colorado that's sort of been building this year. Yeah, and huge shout out to the CU student section that made AJ feel <laughs> wanted during his unofficial visit. There's a buzz in Boulder, and it continues to grow. When Antoine Hill Jr. jumping on board for 2025 as a quarterback commit, possibly. We'll see the replacement for Shador Sanders. This is a, a huge get, William. Uh, things are looking up with, with Colorado football recruiting these days, and this is just the, the latest example. Well, you know, and, and, you know, historically speaking, getting that big quarterback helps you get other guys. You know, it helps you get your offensive linemen and your receivers and running backs because once you've got that guy, he's sort of the leader of your class. And, and people want to go play where there's a great quarterback because people know that's what leads to victories at our level. So having that piece of the puzzle is, is amazing. And, and um, really, I think uh, uh, I, I don't even have the words for it to, to say how big it is. Um, not only that he's that highly rated, but being a quarterback as well. All right, Antoine Hill Jr. I have a feeling we're going to talk a lot about him until he signs that letter of intent. Exciting news for Colorado. 